Hello and welcome to part six of our German battleship Bismarck build. It's the Flyhawk model, 1700 scale, and it's the deluxe version, which means lots of photo etch. And if you've been following along in the series, you'll know that we've finished the smoke stack and we're moving on to the little um, buildings that sit beside them that hold the lifeboats on there. So um, there's a lot of photo etch to go on these and there's also a lot of parts to come off. So as you can see, there's what the piece looks like to begin with, uh, which are quite nicely detailed. They do look quite good. I wish that would focus. Come on. And focus a bit there. So a lot of those pieces have to come off. This one I've already done. And, uh, just need to. I'll use a uh, Mr. Surfacer, um, which will just fill any irregularities on that, but that'll be fine. And now it'll be um, a case of putting on the photo etch, which are all these racks and supports. Now, one thing with this kit. And these instructions here, particularly these photo etch ones for this, um, they've made a mistake here. So they've this part piece is there's a T1 and T2. That's the plastic part numbers. And they've numbered them T1 and T2. No problem. Uh, the only thing is, and it confused me for a moment, was that both T1 and T2 look the same. But if you look at the actual parts and the detail on them, they're not the same. Um, there's a couple, there's a little bit of a difference in the shape and the of the doorways, and there's like an air vent and a few other things that uh, are different between the two. All they've done here is they've used one photograph of one piece and just reversed the photograph and use it for the second piece. Now I've checked and everything will still go on. Nothing obstructs anything that's that's not showing on the missing piece that they haven't got here. So I don't know if you'll be able to see the detail, but you know, there's the shape of all this here. You can see that is different to the shape of it. It's gonna focus for me. Come on. It doesn't want to focus. It's going to be different, there we go, to the shape of it under there. But it won't obstruct anything. So the photo which it needs to go on won't get in the way of any of the pieces. But just so, you know, if you're doing this kit and you look here and go, well, hang on, that doesn't look right. That's because they've just photographed the same piece and then used that same photograph and used it twice in re and reversed it assuming that both these pieces of kit parts were the same, but they're not. But anyway, that's all fine. I figured that out. So And checked, and everything will fit on there as it's supposed to. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go work on getting all this photo etch, cut off the sprue, and, and fit them all on. I'll do one at a time, so when I've done one, we'll have a look at it. And then I'm sure you don't want to watch me do it all again as much as I love doing it all the second time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that'll be that. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so, all right, back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So it's been uh, a couple of hours. Oh, I haven't spent a couple of hours on it, but a good hour and a half, I'd say. And there is our end result. All the photo etch on there. I'll throw a photo up because it's easier to see. Um, tiny little pieces, lots of railings. I think there's about 17, 18 pieces of photo etch on that. So, it looks, well, it does look better than that. The plain plastic piece but you know at this scale once it's painted 
Um, but yeah, it will be a bit better. Now I have got a few concerns. Um, so what I found was I built that exactly to how this have it, they have it set out in here. All right, so let me just put these down. It's very delicate. Now, my concern is that this sits up flush against the superstructure. Now, this bit's okay because it hangs out, so the boat going on top there will be fine. But I'm worried about the boat going on the top uh, at the back here because the way they have those positions, they're not directly in line with this. They're over, so I actually put those little racks where the plastic was that I took off. So it should be okay, but when I quickly fitted it on the piece and I looked, there's very little clearance at the front for any overhang with a boat sitting on there. So I'm hoping once I get the boats made that they do fit on there. There's no reason why they wouldn't because the original piece um, going like that and this would be sitting against the structure. You can see how close that rack is to the edge. So anyway. Now, I, I'm sure that this has been made to fit and I have not made any changes with the photo etch that would be different other than the appearance of it but the positioning is still the same all right we'll keep my fingers crossed on that so, all right so i'm going to build this one up now the same as the first one and that'll complete those two and then looks like we have to start working on a few of the boats get them done all right so we're back in a minute all right welcome back and I've finished the second one of these little buildings that support the uh, lifeboats. All the photo etch is done on both. They both come up quite well. The second one was easier to do than the first one. It's usually the case. Um, so now I've... Um, oh, there is... You might notice there's a cross-section in the middle of that platform that goes under a boat that's missing. Unfortunately, that just went somewhere. <laughs> Um, I may yet find it, so I haven't given up. Um, but either way, that'll be underneath one of the lifeboats anyway, so that's going to be not seen. But if I do find that piece somewhere, that would be good. But anyway, um, so I'm going to get on with the, uh, make a start on the lifeboats now that are going to go on top of this. And then um, we'll see how that goes. All right, so back shortly. Okay, hello, welcome back. So, um, as you saw, we've finished the um, little mounts where all the um, where the lifeboats are going. They're all done in here. So there was just a couple of little bits of plastic that still needed to be add, adding, added onto that bit of piping. Nothing that you could see anyway, <laughs> but it's done. Um, now, I've moved on to the lifeboats, which are, as you'd expect, tiny. So here's one here. So this little guy will, will be one of those that go on top of those little structures. Now I've painted the side of it um, sort of a real light color white, because all my lifeboats are going to be white and the uh, the rest of the parts of them will be the decking, the wood decking we have for all the lifeboats too. As you can see on this piece here, there's one, two little pieces of wood decking I put on there. And there's another two pieces that go inside that last piece I showed you. But of course I had to paint that first before I could put that decking on. And those boats are... Uh, these ones here 
basically all these for lifeboats, including these really tiny little lifeboats. And uh, there's some more up here. Um, but all of them need to be painted first, which I've done. They're in the other room now, all um, with an undercoat on them. I'll let that dry, and I'll come back and brush paint the white. I'm thinking about maybe doing a black underneath them. Um, we'll see about that. Just how much of that's visible. It's probably maybe not worth the effort. But anyway, um, they will look good with all the wood decking on them. As for the photo etch for the lifeboats, there's, there's a little bit of photo etch, the usual amount. Um, there's parts to take off and there's railings to put on and uh, mostly it's just railings and a roof section on one of them. Now I'm sort of umming and ahhing about whether I want to struggle with these because they are like I say very very small. So I've decided I'll I won't be cutting the piece off and replacing that as they have in here to remove this, which is red. Um, I'm not going to take that off. I'm going to leave that on because I think it looks fine. And the replace what goes in replace of it looks no different to what I'm taking off. The rest of the photo etch I will put on. I'll put some of the railings around the side and I'll put all those pieces on because there's actually gaps particularly on the front here, there's gaps in the wood decking for those railings. So I will put all those on. Now there's quite a few lifeboats. Um, in part 10 that I'm working on now, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six boats. Uh, one of the boats has one on top of the other, or two of them do, one on top of the other. But then, so... That's fine, you think, oh yeah, we'll do those six. But then down in the next step, there's another couple more lifeboats. Actually, there's about four more lifeboats. And then you go on further and there's more lifeboat, and it's just not worth doing them all separately. So I've got them all painted in undercoat. I'm going to do them all in white, and I'll do all the fittings for all the lifeboats for the ship um, so that they're done. And when I need them, I'll take them and put them where they belong but they're going to be very time consuming while they're drying I'm also going and working on the deck here and we're going to start doing the detail on the deck here so I've painted each end white um, my plan is because these stickers here are all decals and so uh, this, the red part of these are also um, decals. And I don't know how decals are going to stick to the wooden, um, the, the wooden uh, <laughs> deck that I've got on there. If it were the normal plastic deck, then no problem, but it's wooden. So that's why I've gone to paint it instead. So I've done the white on either end. Then I've cut out the circles, which will be the white, actual white that we want there. They're going to go in there like that. And then I'll do the red, paint around them the red, and that should leave what will look like that. And then as for these markings, um, they'll get placed in the center. And... Uh, yeah, that, that's the only way I can think of doing it. I will probably put a clear coat over there to give them something to adhere to. And hopefully they'll stay in place. And they should look alright too. Uh, at least you can see a bit of the wood through. And it does look like the deck's actually been painted. Which it has, rather than having a whole deck or sticker cover that whole section. Uh, it look, hopefully look a bit more realistic. All right, so I'll um, continue on. I've got a bit of a mess of everything happening at once here. I did have a break for a while and um, come back to this. So 
it's catch up time and there's still a lot to do so i'll um i'll get back into this and uh, we'll come back and have a little bit more look at the progress on that okay back shortly okay welcome back and uh a little bit busy around the, the bench dining table work area um i'll show you what i've done with this we've got the markings on the deck done so got the red and the white there um i like the way it's come up because you can still see the decking rather than just putting a white decal over red you can see the wood decking through it so it sort of looks like it has been painted on like it was um all i need to put is the black markers on there which i'll do later i'm probably going to do just a little bit of a clear coat over that just to give it some give them some the deck or something to stick to rather than just straight onto that paint although that is a um a gloss white but that's come up quite good so i'm pretty happy with that now also um the lifeboats i can show you this just bring this camera down a little bit closer this is extremely tiny um so on top of this building will be this first lifeboat that i've done here and if i could just pick it up it is that small let me just this right okay so there's that be lucky if that focus on that but we'll try so that one's got the decking wood decking on it and uh, the photo etch uh, it's just not going to focus because it's way too small um, yeah I'll put a photo I'll put a photo on anyway there's roughly about 12 boats i got to build not all like this but there's a few more like this and uh yeah it's difficult <laughs> they're just so damn tiny anyway um now let me just reorganize myself here and we'll we'll come back in a sec okay it's a bit better now on our superstructure piece here which is there's practically nowhere to pick it up from that's safe but i did find that there are railings around the sides here on either on both sides of the upper and lower deck on there now actually i should be able to pick it up by this end here uh where are we here we go carefully right so yeah so there's some railings that got to go along those that deck edge there they're not in the instructions um so i had to go through all my photo etch and check and found that um there is some railings here uh that are not for anywhere else um, so I'm assuming they're for that. They look roughly the right size. So I, I painted them on the sprue here. Um, I'll, shortly I'll be taking those off and hopefully they'll fit in there because there is nowhere on any of these instructions that um, notes where those go at all. Um, and that's the only place I can think of for them to go. Um, I might leave them until I've built the other structure. There's a whole second superstructure to be built up that i haven't even started yet and once i put all the railings on there that the instructions show me to do then i know that those those pieces in there will be for this um yeah so but they're all painted up and they're easy to put on um so that shouldn't be any problem all right so that's where I'm at. So a lot, a lot of little bits and pieces going on at the moment. Um, lots of painting of the uh, little lifeboats. 
and working my way down to the point where uh, I'll be able to paint the sections the lifeboats go on and and then put all these well these are already this section this is already connected down onto there as you can see that's all that um, but it's getting close to where in step 11 the next step is um, putting all that down onto the deck itself which is also something I haven't yet done which is the markings on the side of the ship I really want to get those painted on before gluing the deck down um, that would save having to mask anything up and uh, yeah so I will continue on um, back shortly <laughs> okay welcome back so we've got a bit more progress happened here <laughs> um, I've painted the bits of superstructure that carry the, some of the lifeboats so this is all complete now it's going to work I might focus there we go so that's all um, all done and I'm just test fitting the other one on here which I've just put in the just got it sitting in there it's pretty hard to see but that's it there so I've got to put uh, a lifeboat on the top of that in the back and I just went to check and it does fit and then there's another lifeboat to go on this side and then one on the rack front there and then the same on the other side uh, this is very tricky because there's not much to hold it by but there you go so what I'll be doing is gluing that one those two on either side of the superstructure here putting the boats on there's one of the boats this is actually one boat with a second one on top of it so they're painted up so that'll go on there there's also these boats here all very very tiny stuff here but just have to turn over um, so basically that's another one of what you just saw before there's the bigger launch here with all the handrails and everything on it get that in there it's a bit tricky yeah there we go so that'll go on the uh, outside of that structure so I've done the boats for both sides so they're ready to go on and I'll put them on I've also managed to do the cranes as you can see in the box here we've got two cranes with their photo etch now I had a little bit of difficulty there's um, photo etch wire that reaches up which was fine I put that on and then there were two more that go either side but they wouldn't reach um, they wouldn't fit flush down on one end here and there was no way I could get that to work and I don't know why but it's there's such small thing it was like a quarter of a millimeter and that's all it would take to have it not work so what I've done is I've used some easy line instead so I put the pulleys up on the top which reminds me of just there's another bit I haven't put on there uh, which is also uh, the pulley with the hook on it um, but I've got the photo um, sorry the easy line running along there and it's done the job fine so and yes I'll be painting it as well as the rest of the crane when I get around to that so that's both cranes done they were quite fiddly actually mainly putting the um, main crane section getting at the right angle so that the photo which would fit on it but that's done um, so that takes us down once I get these boats on which won't take me long um, this gets us down to step 11 now step 11 here the other way, is 
pretty much putting that whole superstructure down on the deck. Um, there's also the um, turret on the front, which I test fitted and it's fine. Then I realized I hadn't painted the um, blast bags, so I did that and they're painted. Um, so all that's going to have to go down the deck. Now the deck is not ready to go on yet because, um, well, I don't want to put all this down on the deck until the deck's actually fitted to the rest of the ship, to the hull. And I can't do that yet because I still need to paint the camouflage black and white on the hull. So that's the next thing I have to do. Because once that's on and painted, then we can put the um, the deck and glue it down and then start putting the superstructure down on top. So that's pretty much what I'm going to start doing now is measuring up the side of the ship. And I'll just grab that for a second. Okay, so it'll be just a matter of measuring up this and taping up the outlines for the black and white shapes to go along that. Um, yeah, so that shouldn't be too much of a drama. And uh, like this, this has been painted over a week ago now, so it's uh, definitely going to be nice and dry. So I'm not going to have to worry about any paint lifting off. I will see, um, you know, because I'm putting tape, masking tape over this, I might clear coat this hull first. It just gives that extra layer of protection before I put the tape down. And then I'll do the painting of the black and white, and then I can give it another clear coat over the top. That's an option. I might do that. Um, you can see I've left the sprue connections all inside the hull um, that just makes it more sturdy and give me something to clip onto and and hold it by and uh, I probably won't take that out at all that, that can stay there the whole time all right so um, I'll get on with this um, we'll come back and have a look at so we'll come back and have a look at this superstructure with the boats on I'll throw a couple of photos up and and then we'll um probably i'll be showing this painting and, and getting this part will be in the next um episode which will be i don't know what we're up to at the moment i have to check my where are we my little thing here that tells me right we're on six so it'll be on number seven part seven okay so when we come back we'll have a look at this i'll put some photos up so you'll be able to see better and we'll go from there all right back in a few seconds okay hello welcome back everyone and uh i've kind of jumped the gun a bit I've had a few disruptions around home and a few visitors so i've um managed to get some stuff done here um in the way of painting so i'm working on the camouflage and as you can see i've got the gray on the front and back and uh, that's come up nicely and as you'll see I've also got the white parts of the camouflage painted on I've been busy uh, taping them up and had to buy myself a bit more um, six mil tape and <coughs> excuse me it's coming up really nice all I have now is um the black section to do although there's another bit in the center here to be done so there's another white section i'll put a photo up of what i'm getting my design from and you'll see in that picture wherever it is here um that um that's where i'm getting my marking guide from uh the the model um, instructions don't show any painting guides for any of this camouflage they just have the plain gray um, so um, yeah it, it's it's looking good I'm pretty happy with it, how it's coming up so I'm going to continue on with this uh, finish these last bits off tomorrow because where it's getting it's actually dark outside now 
I don't mean morning dark, I mean nighttime dark. <laughs> and uh, and I'll I'll finish this up. But that will be in the next video. Yeah, that'll be in part seven, where I've also done the um, the boats uh, for the superstructure. They're all mounted on. Um, we'll come and have a look at those in the next part and start working on step looks like step 15 in the instructions which is uh another part of this the new uh second superstructure on this ship which includes uh, a mask and uh some more boats and yeah more goodies <laughs> small goodies all right so um as usual thank you for watching um please give us a Thumbs up if you like the video. Um, please subscribe if you aren't already and hit the notifications tab so you get notified of uh, each time the video gets released. And if you're just coming into this one, we're on part six here and you're welcome to go back to the playlist and you can watch this from the unboxing um, right the way through and um, to where we're at now. Or if you're watching this, uh, I might have finished this model <laughs> and you can keep on watching the next parts, which I would say this will probably, I think, uh, probably part 10 will be the final one. We've got quite a bit to go, but not too much. All right. So, yeah, please comment below. Comments are welcome. Uh, have you got any questions or suggestions or hints or tips on what I'm doing, uh, your own thoughts, you know, let it fly, let me know, <laughs> and uh, I'll see you in the next part, okay, bye for now.